Hey, this is Keith Everett from PerfectSocialBusiness.com, and today I'm going to talk about PicMonkey. Now, PicMonkey is an online um, image editor, and I've been using PicMonkey for a long time, and I find it to be one of those valuable tools that I've got. As a uh, full-time internet marketer, I use uh, a lot of images, and um, PicMonkey has been a great tool for me. Now, it is free, however, before anyone says, well, no, it's not free. It is free, but there is um, an upgrade if you want it. The upgrade is $4.99 a month, but most of the features on PicMonkey are free. So here we are at PicMonkey.com. It's very easy to add a photo to it to edit. So I'm going to use a photo, and I'm just going to drag it off of my desktop and I'm just going to let go of it in that box, okay? What that's going to do is that's going to... It's quite, <laughs> quite a colourful picture, isn't it? Wonderful picture of um, some tradition, uh, traditional clothing out in Portugal. And uh, what uh, I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you what you can actually do to an image online. So, first thing, if you look over to your left-hand side, you've got this little kind of dashboard here with certain features and you can see you can resize an image you can sharpen it you can you know add take away kind of the coloring exposure you can rotate there's a thing called canvas color which I'll show you in a minute and there's a crop so let's start first of all with resize because this is one of the most popular things that people need now I just click it with the you know with with the um, cursor and it opens up and tells me this image is 886 by 591. Now if I want to keep proportions, in other words, if I'm going to reduce this image and I want it to be reduced in proportion, then I just keep that tick there. If I'm not too worried about the proportions of the picture, I can take the tick out. So in this particular picture, let's just say I was going to share this on Facebook. Well, a good size to share on Facebook is 500 wide and about 350 high well it's defaulting if I want to keep the proportions it's default, defaulting to 334 so I'm going to keep it like that so I'm just going to click on apply and the image now is just the right size to share on Facebook so that's the first thing now let's say I wanted to crop this image I don't because it's a really good image but let's say I did I come over to the top here where it says crop all right, and we've got this little cropping grid. Can you see that as I'm dragging a corner? And as I'm dragging the corners of this cropping grid, you can see the size of the area. If you look over on the left hand side here, that's changing. So if I wanted to just crop this area, let's say I wanted to take the let's say I wanted to take this bit of the top out. I can just drag it to an area that I want to crop and then I just come over here and click apply alright now you can see what that's done is that's taken out the bit at the top and that's given me a cropped picture now I don't want to crop that picture so I just come up here and undo it okay just click undo and you come back to the normal picture that you had so what else can we do then? Let's go through this briefly because I don't want to make this video too long. Um, in the left hand side here, as you click this top icon, that is your basic edit. That's what's being shown now. They are your basic edits. If I click on this, you will see these are the effects that you can have. You've got a whole load of effects here that you can initiate. Now remember what I said to you earlier, there is a paid version and the paid effects the ones you need to pay for would have this little crown on the left hand side so they are more sort of premium can you see that crown that means that is part of the premium service but all of these other effects are absolutely free so if you don't want to pay you don't have to um, Personally, I wouldn't use an effect on this picture because it's a beautiful picture. But let's say I wanted to use something on a picture like dark edges. I just click on it. 
and you can see on the picture itself we've now got dark edges all right now I can apply it or I can cancel it so I'm going to cancel that because I don't want the dark edges but let's try some other effects that we've got here um, let's try autumn click that and it's kind of I don't know it's kind of plushed up the color a little bit again I'm not really liking that particular effect on this picture but if I wanted it I click apply if I don't want it I click cancel so let's cancel that so that gives you a cross of some of the effects that are available now there's all kinds of things you can do you can touch up images so if I click on the lipstick here um, let's say this was an image of faces then I can you know fix blemishes airbrush wrinkle remover I can reduce the shine I can do loads and loads of things to images of the people and again this is all free now there are also some premium images here uh, premium features as I said to you uh, if you want to brighten the eyes and tint the eyes and all that kind of stuff that maybe a professional would want to do um, then that comes in the 4.99 a month premium price now let's go for basic stuff I click on T that's for text that's pretty standard now you can add text to your images very easily on the left hand side here you can see all these different fonts that are available now most of these fonts are free the ones with the crown at the side they are paid or premium I should say so let's say I want to add, add some text it's really simple I just click on add text like that and you can you know you can pick what font you want just click and then this little box comes up over here and I can just type some stuff in here so let's say I want to maybe I want to put my website okay so if I put www.perfectsocialbusiness.com I can then choose what to do with this box I can stretch it out now you can't see the actual text yet because it's in black so if I just come up to this little color picker here and I'm going to pick white and you can see I can just add text I can just drag this onto the image any anywhere I want and just let go and obviously I wouldn't put it there it's too big anyway but um, I can just let go of it I can bold the text if I want again just put your cursor into the box click on the B for bold right this particular font it's not going to bold I can increase the size if I want by just clicking on size Let's just drag this box across you can have the text appear anywhere you want on the image it's really really simple all right it, I mean you know the text looks horrible but um, you know if I wanted to pick something which I could bold I'd come over and click on Arial black and do this kind of thing reduce the text size and you know it doesn't look nice on this picture but some pictures you know you can add text to and they look quite good so that's the that's the uh, text side now here's an interesting feature it's called overlays now what this means is is that you can quite simply add other images to your existing image so you can use the images they give you which are things you know things like arrows and hearts and stuff like that or what you can do is add your own um, overlay so if I click on where it says your own and you want a transparent image if you're going to overlay it you don't want an image with a white background or something like that because it's not going to look right but let me see if I've got a, um, a transparent image I think that's transparent I mean it will look out of place on this image but you see that now what I've done is I've just put an image of myself <laughs> onto this image and it's overlaid over the other images so this is the sort of thing you can do I mean obviously you wouldn't put that on an image like this but it's just to give you a rough idea what you can do alright so um, let's go what else can we do We've, we, that's the overlays what about a nice frame now let's take the uh, the overlay out just click the delete key highlight it and click delete so let's click the text and what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to add a simple um, simple edge to this okay like a frame 
and you can see the frame looks quite nice it's got this kind of white band around the outside well, if you look over here it says simple edge you can increase the thickness of the black okay or you can increase the thickness of the inner color now let's say you've got this white frame and you don't like white just click the white and you'll see some colors show up and you can put a colored frame look at the image now I'm using as many different colors as I want to have as a frame uh, probably a green would go okay if, if you like that sort of thing maybe that would look good maybe a blue whatever you want to do it's very flexible this tool and I say the good thing about it is it's pretty much free um, something else you can do let's uh, let's click cancel we won't won't do that um, something else you can do very quickly because this video is getting past 10 minutes um, you can change the texture if this was um, for instance if this was a photo that you wanted to change the texture of you can use these kinds of you can see the effects that I'm creating on the image I mean that's a ridiculous effect but <laughs> if you want to create these kind of effects on your photo to make them look a little bit mysterious this is an effect called bokeh B-O-K-E-H and it is a free effect it's not a premium in effect um, so you can do some pretty weird effects with that okay so I thought I would just go through that we've been going long enough now I hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please do share it um, please do click the link under the video to see you know what uh, full-time business that I'm involved in online because you might be interested yourself in making money um, and please as I say do do pass this video on bye for now take care